What's going on guys, as you guys know I am True Trees. Today I'm back here with another tutorial on how to work add-ons. There was a brand new update that just came out, um, or I should say uh, Build 5 that came out a couple of days back. And personally I think a lot of you guys want to know how to actually use add-ons, how to work add-ons, how to actually install them. I know I keep making videos on these things because they actually keep changing the method on how to actually go ahead and use it and it's a lot different than it was like a couple of weeks back even so that's pretty important for you guys to know. So first things first before we get to the video make sure you guys go ahead and smack the like button. Every like does mean a lot to me and shows your support to my channel um, especially if you guys are new around here make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and I'm looking forward to giving you guys some more 0.16.0 videos on my channel so anyways let's get to it the first old method that they actually gave us was the initial way how we would actually install resource packs we actually would just go ahead and go into global resources and then you can actually find your new add-on right in the resource pack however that's not the case because they actually updated it in the build 5 update and they split them up into the actual gameplay itself so there's a new resource pack full as well as the behavior packs folder and it kind of seems confusing at first but it kind of makes sense once you guys get used to it so imagine the resource packs as kind of just a texture pack of what the actual mob looks like what the actual world looks like and then the behavior packs is what add-ons actually do where they actually change the behavior and maybe there's a I don't know a villager that is attracted to bunnies for some odd reason and they might breed creepers I, I don't know something weird like that so anyways let's get to it so of course if you guys do not know the old 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 one of the original methods and how you can actually go ahead and use these add-ons is by using the folder called the resource pack folder I made several several videos on that um, on a, this actual folder right here so it's kind of important how if you guys want to go ahead and, and use this folder it's how you actually do it so let's go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead and restart all my apps here so it will start off from the beginning and then I'll go in, oops we're going to Astro here and then let's go ahead and showcase what you guys need so of course first things first go into your games go into the com.mojang folder and then um, you're actually going to go ahead and you want to click into it and then you want to make sure that there's a behavior pack folder this is only in the build 5 that they actually give us this folder in the actual game itself it's the first time we actually see mojang give us an awesome modification folder for us to actually modify it was not in the build 3 2 for build one even none of them had it so it's pretty awesome we actually saw a behavior pack folder in build five they also um recommend you guys make this resource packs folder it's just resource underscore packs this is the one folder i believe was not included but they might end up putting it into the final build i'm not 100 percent sure i already had one in there already um so anyways first things first if you guys want to install a brand new build 5 add-on, I'll leave a link to the one that I'm using in this one. I think I'll end up doing another, um, like, uh, I should say an add-on review on this actual add-on because it's a pretty awesome add-on. I'm just showcasing you guys how to actually do it in build 5. So, anyways, first things first, once you guys actually go ahead and you download a brand new add-on, you're going to go ahead into Astro or any download manager folder find whichever one you're going to use I'm using the flint lock pistol one so I can always highlight it and then go ahead and copy it but I already have it so I'm not gonna actually do it so once you actually get the copied add-on you want to go in here and you're just gonna select paste I recommend I used to only place it into my resource folder you guys can see I already have some add-ons in here already however that's not the case anymore I recommend you guys actually put the zip folder down here and then you actually unzip the folder right here into the main com.mojang folder so i actually already did that so i'm just gonna go ahead if you guys want to learn how to do it quick go on this little arrow it says extract here but that's not the case for me i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this because i don't need it anymore and then i can actually delete some of the other stuff too however they gave us a flintlock one pistol one or flintlock pistol one and the flintlock pistol two i just know because of my background that the flintlock pistol one is going to go into the behavior folder so i'm going to go ahead and paste it in there and then the flintlock pistol 2, I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and I'm going to put that into my resource folder, just like so. 
So what's going to happen now, which I'm assuming is going to happen in the future of add-ons, is they're going to give us two separate folders. They're going to give us the resource folder, and they're also going to be giving us the behavior pack folder. The behavior pack folder, if you guys can actually see, I can actually go in here. You can see they have the entities here. So this is the the snowball, the JSON file. Um, that's where you can actually go ahead and edit anything you guys really want to. So it's pretty pretty interesting. Um, in, in my own opinion of how to actually do that. So so yeah So anyways, let's go ahead and go back into MCPE here We'll start this bad boy up and you guys can actually see what actually needs to happen So we'll go back into settings now global resources. You can actually see that the flintlock pistol is actually here now so we can actually go ahead and use it into our global resource folder also when I go ahead and press play and I use a little arrow I can actually choose the resource folder or whatever resource I'm going to use, which is the Flintlock Pistol, and my behavior packs. And now I actually have a behavior pack. It says adding or removing a behavior pack after playing a world might break the world and cause you to lose what you created. So that's pretty interesting, pretty important for you guys to know. Always know that once you actually use the behavior pack in playing in a world, you might end up breaking it if you guys remove that. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, so let's go ahead. We actually are going to be using it. So now we're actually using the flintlock pistol behavior pack, and we actually have these guys successfully installed onto our game now. I know a lot of people had a lot of questions with this new whole add-on stuff, and hopefully this video kind of cleared things up for you guys how to actually install them into your game. I have some other add-ons I can share with you guys. So if you guys want to do that. Let me know, maybe if we get like 700 likes on this video or something like that, I might go ahead and leave like some of the best add-on and behavior resource packs available for MCPE for the 0.16.0 update. But anyways, hopefully this video did clear things up for you guys. Hopefully you guys did learn now how to use add-ons, how to use behavior packs, how to use resource packs. And it makes things a little bit easier for you guys. If you guys are still uncertain, maybe rewatch this video or try to find another video on my channel. I did have some other tutorials, but they're actually old tutorials and it's not the same method of how you would actually use it now. But regardless, I think it's pretty interesting and I hope you guys didn't find this video to be useful. My name is Futures, have an awesome day and remember, stay true. Peace. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications. Once you guys do that, you guys will be alerted every single time I upload. Have an awesome day. Stay true. Peace.